Officers responded to a mock mass casualty Friday morning on the 500 block of Wood Street and Lander. This was an exercise for tactical medic training. They're a liaison between um, local EMS, um, county hospitals or city hospitals um, to provide that immediate care. Um, when EMS can't come in because it seems not safe. This exercise is taking place after a week of training. Three officers with the Lander Police Department, along with several other officers from throughout the state, went through several scenarios with each day of training becoming a bigger challenge. Overall, I think it's been a great class. It really gets your heart rate up to where you're not thinking, you're just doing. Um, which I think is uh, invaluable training. In today's scenario, the officers had to secure victims at the scene by starting their treatment, then take them to a casualty collection point where medics continue to work on their injuries. TAC 1 instructor Joe Didon says many police departments don't offer this type of training, so that's where they come in. We don't take any shortcuts. We try to provide the most realistic possible you know, experiences for these guys so they can truly be prepared if something happens um, and they're under a lot of stress. Tactical medics play a vital role in the military, but it has become common among civilians after the Columbine High School shootings and even more recently, the Aurora Massacre. All these type of incidents have shown that something could happen. You know, we're <laughs> looking at homeland terrorism. These things do exist and they're going to continue to exist. So how do we address that and how do we actively take a part in getting control of some of these things? After officers complete this training, they can return back to their departments and pass on their newly learned skills. This is Victoria Fergoso reporting for County10.com.